With the return of centre-left government to Norway after eight years of conservative rule, one question looms large. What does it mean for the energy sector that made this country fabulously rich? Now we shall celebrate, sleep a bit and then be ready for action. We will change Norway and the world. It was an election dominated by the climate crisis and the growing realization that fossil fuel exports must make way for renewable energy. That's a profound shift for a small country operating Western Europe's biggest oil and gas industry. It accounts for 14% of gross domestic product and 40% of exports, providing Norway with a $1.4 trillion sovereign wealth fund. For me personally, the main issues for this election is uh, yeah. the environment. So what I expect from the new government is to focus even more uh, on the climate issues we are facing today. We need a change, um, and a serious one. We need a government that takes uh, the environment with greater concern. Tricky coalition talks lie ahead first, with potential left-wing partners wanting faster moves towards a green economy and Labour opting for a more gradual transition. The new government will also pledge itself to tackling rising inequality, a cause that already ranks high among Norway's neighbours. The election means all five Nordic countries are now in left-wing hands for the first time in 62 years. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera.